All right, so here's a little update on the KLX 300. I've had it for about six months now. Still loving it, not riding it as much right now just because of the cold weather, but roads are dry, put some extra layers on and take her for a rip. But yeah, I was just gonna go over some new mods I've put on since my last video. I Took some stickers off. They had all the safety stickers down there on the swing arm. I added a Delkovic exhaust. I am running the Spark Arrester, and I think it's the perfect sound. I'll start it up here in a second for you guys. I also got these frame frame protectors off of eBay. And main reason for getting those is on the other side, there is a little tab behind this one that holds the cable for the kickstand. It's a kickstand cable and my boot was always catching on that tab and bending it out so that will help that from happening anymore. Let's see what else have I done. I added a rear cargo rack got this off of amazon and then i added a bigger tool kit which i have lots of goodies in here i can open that up and show you guys what i keep in there but it has like the mole attachment on the bottom and yeah it's super sturdy and i have another um, strap around there just to kind of keep everything from bouncing around too much in there but uh yeah, I should probably put some waterproofing on it so rain doesn't get in there. Yeah, let's start her up. It's going to be a little bit louder just because we're in the garage, but... So here's my tool kit all opened up. You can see it's got a little zipper pouch, lots of little cubbies to keep things. It's got multi-tool and here's the, the old tool kit. Got some extra stuff in there. I'll open that up. And then this thing kind of folds open. And it's got more cubbies on this side. But yeah, I'll get all this stuff out and show you what's on there. Okay, so here's everything I keep in my toolkit. Start over here. We got some hearing protection, a razor blade, a bead buddy, a little emergency light, lighter, a Gerber NXT suspension multi-tool, some CO2 cartridges. This is what I keep in the factory little toolkit. We got a T-wrench, sockets, added some allen wrenches wrenches and the screwdriver we have a repair kit bailing wire duct tape electrical tape um, velcro straps different size zip ties a valve core puller for replacing a tube helps out a lot registration cups for changing the tires you know ding up your rim they're light and small enough why not bring them along the tire gauge we have three tire irons these tire irons also have these inserts so you can take axles off and have an additional 27 19 axle wrench some rope some paracord Use that for lots of different things. And we have the CO2 inflator and some shop towels. And that's about it. If you guys can think of anything else that you'd put in your kit, put them down in the comments and let me know. A couple other things I forgot to mention is small bike pump. That's good if you run out of CO2 and it's small enough. Yeah, I can fit it in the bag or throw it in my pack. And a spare tube. I have enough room where I could throw a spare tube kind of like underneath right here where the old tool kit was. 
and uh, yeah, I just put an extra strap on there, weave this up, and I put a little lock ring in there just so people don't unzip this and try to steal stuff when I'm running in the store. Another thing is uh, tires are starting to get a little worn out. I just measured them, and they're about seven, eight, thirty seconds. And I do have some new tires ordered. I got the Tusk D Sports, and they look really beefy. Should do a lot better off road and last decently decent amount of time on the road, just because they do have such large tall knobs and uh last last thing to finish up on is my bike from the factory was shipped with two right side rear plastics and finally got my left rear plastic so the bike is complete now the dealership i bought the bike from carl malone Power Sports in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. I cannot recommend them. I tried working with them. They, When I bought the bike, they said that they would order it for me and ship it when they got it. And after five months calling them, it was on back order. And finally, I went to my local dealership and they said it was in stock. So I called Carl Malone and they said they didn't even have anything on order for me. They had no record of me being there. So cannot recommend that dealership. I did not like working with them. But Kawasaki luckily helped me out. And got my bike looking good. So beware of who you buy your bikes from. And I'm still loving the bike. And if you guys have any questions for me, shoot them down in the comments below. But it's a super fun bike, does great off-road and on-road. The exhaust really kind of opens it up, has more throttle response, maybe slightly, slightly quicker. I also put the KDX Snorkel on. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I just ordered a... LED headlight, so that'll be coming in soon. I haven't had any major issues. The only issue was the right front fork seal was starting to leak pretty bad, and they were able to get that covered under warranty. And I went to my local dealership, All Train Motorsports. They're awesome, got me taken care of. And again, stay away from Carl Malone in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. That place. It's kind of scary. They didn't take care of me at all. So, but other than that, I recommend the bike and I love it. Thanks.